The 1977 nickel value can be sometimes notable, although these coins are not particularly rare. Since they are relatively modern, collectors choose only excellently preserved pieces, while those in poor condition are worth only their melting value. On the other hand, the Jefferson Nickel series is historically significant. So, be prepared that many Americans look for these coins and are prepared to pay a lot for particularly unique pieces. For instance, the most expensive specimen in the set is worth over $4,000. Nickels with Thomas Jefferson on the obverse were the fourth five-cent design since the first shield nickels appeared in 1866. They also replaced buffalo nickels minted for a required quarter of a century. These coins were the third among American coinage with a real person and one of the presidents on the obverse. That was a way for the U.S. mint officials to give up traditional fictional symbolic characters that were actual for decades. The mint officials decided to honor Thomas Jefferson and his home, Monticello, by putting them on the coin. Jefferson was a significant figure in American history as one of the founding fathers and the Declaration of Independence's primary author. He was honored to be the first U.S. secretary while the president was George Washington and the second vice president in American history under John Adams. Finally, he served as the third president of the U.S. at the very beginning of the 19th century. Besides, he was a talented diplomat, philosopher, architect, and lawyer. Even though this talented artist won numerous art contests, this lovely nickel was his only attempt to create a coin. No one knows why he entered this contest, but he managed to win and got the $1,000 prize for his conceptual solution. Jefferson nickels are respectful collectibles nowadays, but it was entirely the opposite in the beginning. The officials hated the Fraser design, although it was appropriate for celebrating 200 years of the president's birth. The problem was in the lettering type and angled view of Monticello. Therefore, the designer was forced to change the reverse look and correct all requested details. Interestingly, the first coin sets came without the artist's initials, but it was unclear whether it was because of oversight or misunderstanding. Anyway, the U.S. Mint corrected the injustice only in 1966, when letters F.S. appeared under the president's bust on the nickel obverse. Even though the first coins appeared in circulation in 1938, Americans hoarded them, so these pieces became common in circulation only in 1940. The 1977 nickel obverse is standard for this coin type, showing one versatile figure in American history, Thomas Jefferson. This philosopher, lawyer, American diplomat, and one of the founding fathers became the third U.S. president on March 4, 1801, and spent eight years in office until 1809. Schlag surrounded the president with required inscriptions, including, In God We Trust on the Left, in front of Jefferson's face, Liberty Asterisk 1955 on the right, behind the president's back. The 1955 nickel depicts Jefferson's mansion based on the Italian architecture style, which he created himself. Monticello was built on his plantation in the Piedmont region, Virginia. It is now a historical site and a national historic landmark. Schlag added all necessary words around the central image, including the Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, the building name, denomination, and the name of the state that Jefferson led for eight years. The Philadelphia Mint had a high mintage of 585,376,000 nickels in 1977. Since these coins are modern and there are a lot of pieces available on the market, you can expect moderate prices with only a few surprises at auctions. The 1977 Jefferson nickels without the mint mark cost $0.05 cents to $5 in most cases, except for those graded MS-66. Their estimated prices can reach $45. However, remember that the most expensive specimens minted this year are those in MS-63 grade, sold at $1,725 in 2003. You can expect most nickels minted in 1977 with full steps and MS-64 to MS-66 grades to be worth $30 to $800. However, one specimen rated MS-67 became the priciest in the set after selling at $4,495 on eBay in 2019.